So with many of us struggling with getting good quality sleep, I thought I would just share with you a few of the little things that I do to really help ensure a good night's sleep. And I found that a ritual really helps. So I've got my few things that I do every night. And honestly, it makes a world of difference. So starting off with what I'm wearing, I've put my PJs on. And this is an American brand called Lensome, and they were sent to me by a friend. Uh, you can get them from Amazon.com, they can send them from the States, and it's a mix of modal and really soft fibres. Um, you can get similar ones in Jigsaw, so I've put a link to all of this stuff in uh, my little web feature that I've done on all these things just so that you can find them easily but they are really lovely they are super soft super cozy they keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter and it doesn't matter if you kick all the covers off you know you still feel that you're just being soft and cushioned so that's the first thing is to wear something really comfortable the next thing obviously is to look at your bed and in particular look at your pillow so I like a temper pillow. This is one of the ones that's molded like that. So it's got the, the shape of the neck and I find that that really supports my neck super well when I'm sleeping. And then I do use a silk pillowcase and this is from a British company called the Nice Cream Company and it just makes a difference. It's again, you don't get a hot and sticky in the summer. It's very, very smooth, so you don't get any creases on your face. You know, you wake up with kind of pillow face. So having a silk pillowcase has actually been a revelation for me in recent years. So the other things that I always do is I always sprinkle a few drops of lavender oil onto my pillow. And I haven't found any issue with using real essential lavender oil. I know you can buy sprays and all of that, and you know, they're quite expensive and you have to you know, go out and buy them again and again. Whereas a little bottle, I've got Neil's Yard, pure lavender oil, and I just love it. And I literally just sprinkle a few drops on. And for me, that's my kind of brain signal, the olfactory part of my brain, my limbic system that's up here, top of the nose, controlling mood and emotion. It smells those first few inhalations of the lavender and it goes, oh, I know. I need to be going to bed now. I need to be winding down. So just everything starts to calm. Uh, the things that I take, so I've discovered this brand recently. It's called Life Armour. It's a really interesting brand. I'm sure I'm going to be writing about it more in the future. And this is called Drops of Slumber. And it's a mixture of all my sort of favourite herbs to help us sleep. So things like Passiflora, for example, from Passionflower. And... It's really, really effective. It's in vegetable glycerine. It contains valerian. Valerian is another traditional herb to help us to sleep. It's got chamomile, lavender flowers, the passion flower, um, a little bit of peppermint syrup. And I just take one dropper full like that and I just put it under my tongue. Mm. Actually tastes really good. <laughs> so it tastes kind of sweet, but it doesn't have any sugars in it. Uh, so I really rate this. When I first got it, I thought, oh, not sure, drops of slumber, what's all that about? But honestly, since using it and investigating those herbs, traditional herbs that really do help just to calm everything and give us a good night's sleep. And the fact that it's a tincture, I think, means that it just hits our system much more quickly than if we're taking, say, a capsule. So something else that I do is I just pull my sleeves up a little bit and get ready for a little bit of skin balm on my hands. My hands are so dry at the moment with all this hand washing. I'm sure yours are as well. And so I like to put a really thick layer of something quite rich and intensive that I wouldn't normally use during the day because it would be too sticky. But at bedtime, it's fine. This is a lovely brand. It's called Isla Apothecary. I've written about them in the magazine before. And this is like a skin salve that lovely natural yellowy colour and this is just beautiful it feels really lovely on the skin it just melts into the skin and again there's something about that ritual of putting something onto your skin rubbing it in kind of rubbing away the knots of tension sometimes if you feel your hands when you're massaging them you can just feel little areas that are tight and it's just good to give them a bit of a release and let that soak in overnight. So the skin on the backs of our hands is very fragile. It tends to get quite dry. 
So just putting that in and the nails love it. It's full of natural oils. You can see my hands are slightly shiny, slightly greasy. So this isn't something that I would do during the day. Uh, but then if I've got any left over, like on my fingertips, I'll just run it through the ends of my hair just to give my hair a bit of an overnight condition as well. And then the last couple of things that I do is I'm very sensitive to sound. So a few years ago, I had some silicon earplugs made and these have been made to mould the shape of my ear so they fit perfectly. I've got a red one here, it's got a red dot on it and a blue dot. So the red R is my right ear and I pop those in and honestly, they are really good. I've got several pairs of these, I travel with them. The next best thing is to get a soft silicon thing that you put in your ears, soft silicon um, ear, whatever they call them, <laughs> ear plugs. <laughs> so I don't like the wax balls. I find them too uncomfortable. You want soft silicon. Uh, and again, I found some that I've popped in a link. So you don't have to go and get them molded. You can actually buy them and they're kind of like bed silicon, especially for sleeping in. So they're soft. You can lie on them because I sleep on the side. So I don't want anything that's going to be too uncomfortable in my ear. Last couple of things. I've written about this before. This is about biting and teeth grinding at night. I'm a night grinder and I get pain here in my jaw. So I need a bite guard that prevents me from clenching my teeth. And the problem with most of the bite guards, even the expensive ones from the dentist, is they go all the way around your teeth and you can still bite them. And I used to bite my way through them, even the heavy duty ones. I would just like chomp holes in them. But this little thing, which is not expensive and it's just a funny little design. So you put it in your mouth and these little plates at the back here mean that you cannot clench and grind your teeth, but it doesn't look too unattractive. It doesn't feel as though you've got something massive in your mouth. I'll show you. There, so that's it. So, I mean, it's not fabulous. Let's face it. I'm not gonna take a picture for the cover of my magazine with this in, but it's not too bad. And it's really comfortable. You just forget that it's there. And in the morning to take it out, I just clean it with a bit of um, retainer solution. And then that's it. That's me gone. Earplugs in, um, bite guard in, all creamed up and softened and cosy. And I'm beginning to feel slightly calmer because of all those lovely calming slumber drops. And the lavender oil is kind of wafting up. And my body is now saying it's time, it's time to get a really good night's sleep. I can settle down on my temporal pillow, the memory foam with the silk cover that's really comfortable. And if I'm traveling and I don't have blackout blinds, because I have got blackout blinds in my bedroom, then I'm really sensitive to the light. So I take an eye shade with me. This again is from the Nice Cream Company. Um, and it's a really lovely one because it's silk. So it doesn't mess up your hair and it doesn't leave any mark on the skin. And look, I know it's come out backwards, but it says Liz. I'll even put your name on it so nobody else can nick it. Anyway, that's my bedtime ritual. And I'm recording this in the middle of the day, but I'm actually feeling really quite sleepy now. I hope it's helpful. <laughs>